everybody, Dave Bartosiak with Trending Stocks at Zacks.com. It all started with a nerd in a garage trying to sell books. Now it's evolved into a nerd on a mega yacht trying to send spaceships to Mars. Amazon is the great American capitalist success story. The company's AWS division has become the profit center. Nearly three quarters of Amazon's operating profit now comes from AWS. Now, the company is aiming to squeeze even more profits out of that by unveiling its own line of high-end chips. Customers can now rent computing power that relies on the company's new version of its Graviton chips. And according to executives, the product is a springboard for making high-performance computing available to the masses. These new chips will be a more cost-effective computing solution when compared to chips from juggernauts like NVIDIA and Intel. With Amazon entering the chip fray, let's check in on the stock and the chip industry to see if now is the time to buy. So currently, Amazon is a Zach's rank number three hold. It has a C for value, D for growth, and a C for momentum. Officially, it is in the internet commerce industry, so not a chip play as of yet. But let's take a look at the earnings story over here. Still revenue side, pretty decent, 8.6% revenue growth the current year. 9.7 next year, uh, where it's really bouncing around is in these profit numbers. So Amazon's not going to make a profit this year. Uh, but next year, that's supposed to swell to $1.64. But remember, Amazon was always all about the revenues. But even on the CPS side, pretty dramatic. Over the course of the last 60 days, 11 analysts cutting their estimates for next year, nine cutting their estimates for the current year. That sent the stocks... Zach's consensus estimate dropping from nine cents the current year to an eight cent loss, with next year going from 224 down to 164. So, you know, this might be the profit center of the future. It ain't the profit center right now. So, let's take a look at these other chip giants, Intel. Kind of a shocker here. Intel is Zach's ranked number five strong sell, and this semiconductor general industry ranks at the bottom 37% of our Zach's industry rank. Looking down at the detailed estimates here, now you can see why things aren't so hot over at Intel. Huge contraction on the sales side, 18.6% for the current year. Next year, another contraction of almost 3%. And translate that over to EPS, 64% contraction for the current year, 2% next year. So not, not a good thing to see. And again, these are moving in the wrong direction. 15 analysts coming and cutting their current year estimates. 16 for next year. That's cut our Zach's consensus estimate from 235 all the way down to a buck 96 next year from 272 all the way down to a buck 92. So definitely some negative movement there. What about Nvidia? We loved it so much for so long. Well, so long, so wrong. Zach's rank number four sell, uh, looking like a terrible report card here with an F for value, F for growth, F for momentum. So no bueno there. Uh, looking on the Revenue side, though, at least you get a little bit of growth this year, some growth next year. Uh, on the EPS side, a nasty 26% contraction this year, but back to growth next year. What have the analysts been doing? Well, there's a little bit of a mixed bag for next year with eight analysts cutting their numbers, but four analysts upping the ante. But if you look at the current year, uh, it's pretty much unanimous, aside from this guy, uh, that uh, numbers are going in the wrong direction. That's consensus estimate down from 361 to 327 for the current year, 472 to 437 for next year. So in and amongst all this, where can I go? Semiconductor generals. Uh, just look at the total return on this. Last month has been pretty decent, but if you look at the one-year number, it's been pretty terrible. Uh, negative 40% for that industry. But then again, if you look over time, things have been pretty good. So what are some of the names in this industry that are in the good graces of our Zach's rank? One of these right here, STM Electronics. So why don't we go ahead and check them out? I pulled them up here. Zach's rank number two buy, A for value, A for growth, D for momentum, but it helps around out with a VGM composite score of A. So that's actually quite a good thing. In terms of sales growth, we're getting it this year. Ain't getting it next year. Over to the EPS side, again, you have it this year. It's not there. A little bit of a contraction. So cause for concern? I don't think so. I think it just means we get a really good year this year, and it's just not going to happen again next year. So they should be able to figure it out. Let's look at my favorite chart, the price consensus and EPS surprise chart here on Zax.com. You've seen it before. Black line corresponds to the right y-axis, which is price. These multicolored lines represent the evolution of our Zax consensus estimates, corresponds to this left 
y-axis, which is the EPS. And here's what I'm seeing is these year-over-year -year growth numbers, which is solid. But notice the evolution of these estimates. They start low, they end up much higher, start low, end up much higher. That's a very good thing. Now, what else is a good thing? The divergence here. What I mean by that is estimates going up, price going down. That, my friends, smells like opportunity to me, and that's STM Electronic Sticker STM. Every time you share this video, Amazon enters and dominates yet another business. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Twitter at Bartosiastics, and check out zax.com slash promo for this week's deal on Marijuana Innovators. For everybody here at Zax, I'm Dave Bartosiak, and I will see you next time.